I'm going to give you a demo today about how to do the confusion assessment method in the ICU, the CAM ICU, for an intubated patient. So we have our patient here. Um, the first step in, in identifying delirium would be, does our patient have a fluctuating course? And I have heard from report that my patient has had some agitation over the past 24 hours, so I'm going to assess her. Mrs. Smith. Hi there. I'm going to ask you to do a few things for me in order for me to see how your thinking is. Can you squeeze my hand? Good. I'm going to ask you to squeeze my hand every time I say the letter A. So when I say A, what will you do? Good. S, A, B, E, A, H, A, A, R, T. So she squeezed my hand on every A except for one, so I could say that she passed and she does not have delirium. Now we'll start over with a different patient. Mrs. Jones, hi there. I'm going to ask you to do a few things for me to see how your thinking is. Can you squeeze my hand? Good. I'm going to ask you to squeeze my hand every time I say the letter A. So when I say A, what will you do? Good. S, A, B, E, A, H, A, A, R, T. She squeezed my hand too many times at different letters, so I'm going to keep going. Mrs. Jones. I'm going to ask you some questions. Can you say yes or no? Nod your head, yes or no. Does a stone float on water? Are there fish in the sea? Can you use a hammer to hit a nail? Is one pound bigger than two pounds? Because she couldn't answer my questions, she nodded off. I can say that she has delirium at this time. We can also use this, the CAM ICU scale to assess if our patient has been positive for delirium. Since they can fluctuate, we're going to do it to make sure that they're coming out of it as well. So we can go through all the steps if we want. Mrs. Smith, I'm going to ask you to follow a few things for me to see how you're thinking it. Can you squeeze my hand? Good. I'm going to ask you to squeeze my hand every time I say the letter A. So when I say A, what are you going to do for me? Good. S, A, B, E, A, H, A, A, R, T. Good. Even though she passed that, I'm going to keep going. Will you nod yes or no to my question? Does a stone float on water? Are there fish in the sea? Is one pound greater than two pounds? Can you use a hammer to hit a nail? Can you hold up the, numbers of uh, the number of fingers that I'm holding up with your right hand? Good. Can you do that with your left hand? Good. So she's passed everything. I can say she is negative for delirium now. <laughs>